Saying peeps, if you don't know, you should know it's your boy JD, and I am back once again to give you my top 10 comedians list. Right now, before I begin, let me just say that I don't watch stand up com comedians anymore, or stand up com comedy shows at least. I haven't watched them for a long time. Um, so, my comedians list is based off the comedians who have been in films. I might have watched one or two of their, their stand ups and that, but mostly it's based on the films they've, lived, that they've been in. Because, like I said, I don't watch stand-up shows anymore because very rarely do I laugh my ass off at them anymore. So, it's a, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. But anyway, number 10, Richard Pryor. A legendary comedian. I think, pff, damn near every comedian in the world must have heard of him by now. Um, one of the funniest films that I've seen him in was um, See No Evil, Hear No Evil. Uh, I can't remember the other guy he was with, but he plays like a blind man. And he hangs around with a deaf guy. And uh, there's one scene in particular where he actually thinks all his life he thought he was a white man, but he's actually black. And the look on his face when he goes, You mean I'm not white? Like, oh, it's a classic, legendary scene. Richard Pryor, I mean, he is hilarious. I've seen him in a lot of films as well, but Hear the Weevil, See the Weevil is like the, the main one that I've seen him in and what I recognise him in. And again, I've seen clips of, that, of, of his stand ups. Um, and they are pretty funny, but again, stand-up shows aren't really my thing. I'd rather watch a comedian in a film than a, than a, than a stand-up show. So, number 10, Richard Pryor. Number 9, Jamie Foxx. Now, a lot of people might not, might not know that um, he actually started off as a stand-up comic. People might know him now mainly as a, you know, an Oscar-winning actor, which I mean, by, all, by all rights he deserves it in his, for his role in Ray. Um, I don't think I've seen him in that many comedy films, to be fair. But I do remember watching him in one of his stand up comedy shows way, way back in the day. Way back in the day. I think mum had it on, on DVD and um, I sat down and watched it. And I got a few laughs out of it, but again, I prefer to see him in actual films and on, on, on stand ups because I don't know why. It's one of those things I can't explain, but I just prefer to see Jimmy Fox in a film than, than, than stand up. And I think even now if he went back to stand up, I don't think he'll be as funny as he was back in the day. So um yeah, just for the to make up the numbers really, um, Jamie Foxx is my number nine um, comedian. Number eight, one of the kings of comedy. Cedric the Entertainer, Barbershop, um, Johnson Family Vacation, Be Cool. He was hilarious in Be Cool. Hilarious. That one scene that that one um monologue where he was where he's about to kill the Russian in um, Steve Carr's office. Oh my god. The best monologue, apart from, well, I won't go into it, but like, the, one of the best monologues he has in almost every film that I've seen. Funny, hilarious, like, it was so funny and it's so true at the same time. And he, I'll, what I'll do, I'll, I'll post a link to that, to that one scene I'm talking about in the description box, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. Leave it at that. Number eight, Cedric Cedr Cedr Entertainer. Number seven is George Carlin and he's one of the comedians which I've seen more of his stand-up shows on YouTube more than anywhere else really and his TV shows are more truthful than funny. They are funny but like they're more truthful than funny because there's a lot of truth to what he says and I think that's why a lot of reasons why people hated him because I know like he had like a good following of fans but there's also like a massive following of people who hate him because they can't take the truth really. I mean let's be honest, like people who can't take the truth, like they always end up being haters anyway. So um George Carlin. I got onto him late as well, man. I didn't even realise like I never knew heard anything about him up until like about two years ago. And since then though, man, every single like clip or thing that I've seen him in, it has been hilarious. And I think I'm gonna have to like go back and watch some of his um Actual, his actual full shows and that to see them, to see what they were all about but just based off the clips that I've seen and what I've seen them on oh, just so funny and so true so George Carlin with my picks number seven number six Eddie Murphy Edward Murphy oh, 
legendary comedian, Eddie Murphy Raw. I think that was the very first stand-up show that I've watched ever in my life, Eddie Murphy Raw. I don't remember that much of it because, like I said, I only remember him now mostly in films. But uh, the funniest film I've seen him in, I've got to be, no, I was going to say The Professor, but Coming to America is the funniest film I've ever seen him in, followed by The Nutty Professor. Just, just, just watch Coming to America, end of, done, bam. Number five pick, number five. You think you're tough? I hate your black skin. I hate your black pants. I hate black pepper. I hate black keys on the piano. And most of all, I hate that black ass Wesley Snipes. Bernie Mac. That's it. That's it. End up. <laughs> number four. <laughs> My number four pick. My caps. He used it there. The first thing I see him in was um, Friday, after, no, next Friday. I knew we did like him um, Death Comedy Jam a couple of times, but I wasn't really watching it anyway. But as soon as I saw him next Friday, I went back and looked at like all his, all his shows and all his comedy things that he's done. And the funniest thing I've ever seen him in, it's gotta be all about the Benjamins. <laughs> I mean, the, the scene where he's, he's like got them, oh, there's so many, I can't even, I won't even go into it because there's so many scenes, but he's like one of the funniest, he looks so unassuming. That's what makes him funny, he's like an unassuming person, but he's so hilarious at the same time. He can make you laugh from like pretty much anything he says, anything. Even in like some of his, um, the gag reels from his films and that, they've been more funny than the actual scenes in the films that he's been in. So that just shows you how funny the man is. Oh, hilarious. My caps, bam, number four. Number three, Kevin Hart. I've seen his comedy shows, The Good. I've seen his movies, The Awesome. And I think there's been a saying that's gone around now for, for, what, for a little bit now, saying like, if what make any movie funny, put Kevin Hart in it. And so far, every Kevin Hart film that I've seen has been pretty good. Very, very funny. I haven't watched Night School yet. I think that's the latest one that he's been in. I haven't watched Night School yet, but every other film that I've seen him in, man, he is awesome. Soul Plane, one of my favourites. I loved him in Soul Plane. Um, yeah, I can't even... What, what more can I say, man? Kevin Hart. One of the funniest guys out there right now. Put him in any film, it's funny. So, hence the reason why he's my number three pick. Number two is The Chappelle Show. Or the host, at least. <laughs> Dave Chappelle. Right. Um, again, his movies, they're hilarious. Um, Blue Streak. How High, not How High. Um, what's it called again? Half Baked. I loved him in Half Baked. I think if he put anyone else in, in his role in Half Eight it would have been a flop. The film is sick with, only because it's got Dave Chappelle in it. That's the main reason that that film was, was, was awesome really. Because of Dave Chappelle. He is sick. I loved his um, his skit in and the, Pell, and the, the show, Chappelle show where he, he plays um, a rapper called Fisticuffs. Ah, oh, turn my headphones up. No, I'm serious nigga, turn them shits up. Turn them up, I can't hear you. Like, oh, oh. I could never get tired of that skit, man. Never ever get tired of seeing that. Hilarious, awesome, legendary. Dave Chappelle, bam, number two. And my number one all-time favourite comedian has got to be Cat Williams. He's got to be the funniest comedian I've ever had the privilege of watching on film or on stage. I've seen more of his stand-up shows more than any other comedian. Not live, but I've actually seen him on, on DVD or TV and that. And I think he's the only comedian who's stand up show that I'd, I'd actually watch, to be fair. No disrespect, no offence to any of the other comedians on this list, but Cat Williams, man, from, from his height to what he wears, because he's a pimp, even to his voice, man, everything about him is funny. Everything about him is funny. Even when he comes on stage and goes, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, even that's funny. Just every word he says is hilarious. Every action he, he does is hilarious. You might know him as Money Mike from Friday to the Next or, or um, 
what's that um film with Eddie Murphy now Norbit um he plays a pimp on Norbit as well I can't remember his name though but uh his best stand up shows are either the Pimp Chronicles or it's Pimp Pimp Pimpin or Cat Pacalypse. They're my main three that I recommend that you pick. Okay. For for obvious reasons. You, you they become more, more clear if you watch a show or watch some clips from, from what he does on YouTube and that but for obvious reasons Cat Williams is my all time favourite comedian that's based on his films and his stand ups. The rest of the guys have just been on, on based on films mostly because like I said before at the start of the video I don't watch that many stand up shows if any ever but because it's Cat Williams though I do watch his, his stand up shows because they are so so funny and never get tired of them. So that's my all time favourite Top 10 comedians list. I went down for you one more time. Number 10, Richard Pryor. Number 9, Jamie Foxx. Number 8, Cedric the Entertainer. Number 7, George Carlin. Number 6, Eddie Murphy. Number 5, Bernie Mac. Number 4, Mike Epps. Number 3, Kevin Hart. Number 2, Dave Chappelle. And number 1, the pimp himself. Denzel Washington's son, as he calls himself. Cat Williams. The man the myth, the legend. So that's my top 10 comedians list. Make sure you let us know what your top 10 comedians are in the description box down below. Make sure you go and subscribe to my channel, JD Virtue. Make sure you go and subscribe to that Double D team for all the best reviews for all the best TV shows like Ozark, Mayans, Orange is the New Black, you, you name it, they reviewed it. Yep. Post comments down below, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed my video, hit the like button, subscribe and share. If you did not, hit the like button, subscribe and share. Peace.